weirdos. My name is Lauren. <laughs> and I'm Ashley. And we are the hosts of Keep It Weird, the podcast for all things strange, unusual, paranormal, supernatural, creepy, sticky, gross, scary, and everything in between. <laughs> and this is the video version of Keep It Weird. It is our special new segment, This Week in Weird! creepy note and it like got too creepy it well, freaked me out a frog is in my throat <laughs> this week and weird <laughs> it is our new segment where we bring you news from all around the world all the around the strangest creepiest most bizarre stories we could find we're bringing them to you today so you can be on the weird team like us <laughs> whatever that means whatever that means ashley, get on get on the bus ashley you got a good story for us yeah this one's actually just like a cool thing that's happening in our country. I'm it's about ready. time. Okay, we need it. Let's do it. <laughs> Getting political here. <laughs> this is very cool. So in 2019, Governor Jay Inslee signed legislation making Washington the very first state to approve human composting. As an alternative to burying or cremating oh, so our literally remains. human composting. I was yep. waiting to hear, yes. Yep. Okay, literally, it was what we I can be composted and turned into, I mean, compost to help grow plants and help the give back to the earth. Wait, and that's so cool. It's so cool. I'm obsessed with that. The new law took effect in 2020, but it's taken a while to get the ball rolling because we needed facilities to be able to yeah. do this work. So. As of today, there are now three facilities in Washington licensed to perform natural organic reduction is what they're calling it. Okay. Uh, All right. Very cool. Fancy schmancy way. I like it. <laughs> Two of these facilities, Hareland Forest and Seattle-based Recompose, just received their first bodies in December. The third facility is called Return Home, and they expect to open officially later this year. That is amazing. Yes. Uh, so if you're squeamish about decomposition, maybe turn the volume down oh, don't or listen to this part. Pick another it's video. Right. <laughs> Scroll on. It's okay. Fast forward <laughs> 40 seconds. No, it's not really that gross. It's actually very sweet. But basically the body is placed in uh, something called a nor vessel, N-O-R vessel, okay. along with 200 gallons of wood chips and soil. Which is a lot. We're really just enriching the earth. Yeah. But yes. Okay. And uh, facilitators add a mix of bacteria, protozoa, and fungi to speed up the decomposition oh, process. Okay. Oxygen is then repeatedly added to um, keep it in the 145, 155 degree range. Okay. And then there are also solar panels hooked up to add extra heat when necessary. It's like, it's legit. This is so legit. I'm like in shock <laughs> listening to all of this because it just sounds so great. Yeah. And the one at, um, I haven't seen the vessel at Airland Forest, but the recompose, it looks like a honeycomb. Oh. And there are bodies that slide into the little honeycombs. It's oh really gosh. like futuristic and cool. Uh, the cradle is periodically then tumbled to help disperse oxygen throughout the chamber as well. Pizza. It happened. <laughs> Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Pizza and wine. And croy. And croy. Um, human bodies tend to have a lot of foreign materials in them, as we all know, mm -hmm. like dental fillings, screws, pacemakers, etc. So all of that has to be filtered out once the decomp is done. The bones will also be crushed up to release the phosphorus that's naturally inside the bones. And when all is said and done, each body will produce four 55-gallon drums of usable compost. Wow. Yeah. That is incredible, It's so you guys. freaking cool. I can't get over this. I'm so I, happy need to call and book my death day um, i know can i sign up for this early yes Just you can actually oh they have I'll, I'll get to it <laughs> the family can take all of it for their own purposes so you can take it and like it you know spread compost. it wherever you would like um or you can donate to donate it to the company airland forest or recompose where it will be used to help at first grow new trees in their cemeteries and eventually if a ton of people start doing this we can start using it to compost like other like national forests and right. stuff like we can we can use it anywhere take over the world these facilities only have a handful of pods right now uh 
because one people didn't really know how popular this would be sure like they weren't sure and it also isn't like a money-making thing it's right. not like hip it's just like to offer people a different option when it comes to burial it's also better for the environment i was gonna say yeah i think more people are gonna catch on to this and love it and it's affordable yes which is huge, huge. Yeah, so they weren't sure how popular it would be. Harlan Forest only has one pod, and they said if there's enough demand, they will build more. But the OG Seattle-based company Recompose has started the process with eight bodies so far and have 420 pre-composed members who have paid in advance for their future death care. Oh, so yes, dang. you can pay in advance. The entire cost is $5,500. What? And that is for body pickup paperwork the process itself and an optional service okay we all need to do this seriously way. affordable good for the environment what what hello this, yeah it takes so much stress off of your family mm -hmm. off of i mean off of you off of everything yeah i mean if anyone has ever had to deal with planning a funeral um it's incredibly expensive i mm -hmm. mean people in the united states with like the funeral service uh you know the the coffin the headstone i mean you can Spending expect to pay like 10 grand seriously which for some people is just like not fucking possible yeah like, sometimes people have to do gofundmes do other fundraisers to yeah, pay for their to family's pay for funeral, funeral which is just grieving it's horrible horrible it's but such a good option there's a soil scientist at recompose named lynn carpenter boggs who essentially is the one that places the body in the soil and she basically uh, in this article i found she was uh, kind of like telling you what you would expect for something like this sure. and it's extremely sweet mm -hmm. she said before each body is placed in a pod she reminds everyone there to take a moment and a few deep breaths and then she often recites a poem that's very close to her oh. friends and family of the deceased can watch the process over a live stream right now during COVID-19 mm -hmm. but once restrictions are lifted they'll be able to do so in person they can even do things like play a soundtrack of their loved one's favorite music oh. as they get put into the pod wow it's just oh. a very graceful and beautiful and natural way to go. You're not being burned up or pumped full of embalming chemicals. You're naturally decomposing, and then you get to give back to the earth. Yeah. It's the coolest. Every state should offer this. Agreed. Way to get go, Washington, for leading the way. Seriously. I hope we can all follow. I feel like stuff. Washington and Oregon lead the way in a lot of things like that they're they the, they're the states the that um well the environment yes but they're also the states that allow assisted suicides true i mean uh, several states do now too but yeah, um they Oregon led the was charge like the first one yeah that is very true they're so, usually ahead of us with that and just giving people like you said the more graceful way to die yeah. and i hope we can all follow their lead thank you northwest yes we love you <laughs> thank northwest you, united Ashley. states <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you all for listening. Thank That's you. That's all the time we have right now for this segment of This Week in Weird. But please like and subscribe so you can be the first to know when we are back with more, which we hope to be back with a ton more for you guys. And also, don't forget, go listen to the podcast where this all Pod. comes from, the Keep It Weird podcast. We are on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, all the things, wherever you get your podcasts, we will be there. So go give us a listen, like, and subscribe to us there, obviously, as well. Give us a five-star review if you're feeling generous. And Froggy. Froggy. <laughs> and as always, keep, keep it, it weird. weird. <laughs>